And we're back, chasing after you, that one right there. Got some new music coming in here. You know what? I changed it all up this morning. I figured, you know, we have a good new hip group in town. Might as well. Because normally we're not. Yeah, Yeah. normally we're not right there, you know, because we got Joe. (laughs) Well, we have the the irrepressible (laughs) Randall Martin on, and we've had him, I think this is at least his third time to be on this show, isn't it? Yes. I think three, four, five. Uh, how long you been recruiting them for? <laughs> I think uh, y'all, I have the, v, the the VIP guest pass, right? To, <laughs> that is true. He's got he's got his own men's room key. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! What are you trying to say? <laughs> that doesn't go well on radio, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, well, welcome back. How about those Astros? <laughs> how about those Astros? Uh, uh, welcome back to the show. Let's talk about the same thing we've been talking about is. Talk about your candidacy, and I want to talk about the challenges that you see coming up for our uh, leadership group. All right. Well, let me let me do this because there's everybody out there is listening is either driving right now or they're sitting at home on the radio. So let me do something and paint a picture for you. But I feel there's a little bit of a disconnect sometimes between the membership, the public, and the board of directors. What do the board of directors really do? So as you're driving right now, I want you to close – well, don't close your eyes while you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> don't take my advice. I think that would be considered <laughs> bad etiquette. I want you <laughs> – To picture walking into a room, you're stepping into the boardroom, and you look across, and you see this giant U-shaped table, and you see a big screen to the right, and then you look to the back left corner, and you start seeing these black and white photos. These black and white photos stream all the way across the side of the room, up to the front, and then they turn to color photos, and then they start coming down the right side. When you get to the end, what you realize is you're looking at all the past leadership, all the past chairs of HAR. You look at the men and the women who have shaped the industry, shaped the organization, made HAR what it is today. To be in that room when this is your profession and to see that type of a history is an awesome feeling. How can you not be inspired in that type of environment? So where is the disconnect and where, where, what's, how, how can we explain what the purpose of the board is? I want you to imagine yourself flying an airplane and you know that the, the plane is flying but the door is closed to the cockpit. You don't see what's going on but you trust that the people on the other side of that door are getting you to your destination safely and, and on time. Well, that's what the members, that's what the leadership and the, the goal of the board of directors is. Now, not everybody was, wakes up in the morning and says, I want to lead the organization. I want to be a leader. I want to, to go in and vote. I want to volunteer my time. I want to do this. Not everyone has that passion. But I grew up with values, and, um, and you know, I know my father's listening right now, and, and you know, he's a, me- he's a mechanic. I grew up with a mechanic for a dad who taught me how to fix a lot of things. Now, I don't fix things with my hands. But I can fix things with my mind and with my volunteerism, and that's why I do what I do. And and let's talk about fixing things. What what in the industry do you think needs to be tweaked or fixed? Well, Ray brought up a good point earlier. Uh, you know, there's always going to be something that we're facing. There's always going to be an issue. There's always going to be a new policy to vote on. There's always going to be this. We're always going to be able to rant about something. Oh, this and that, brazel and all this stuff. However, there's a market shift. That's always going to come. It's like the stock market. It's going to go up sometimes. It's going to go down sometimes. But what happens? It always moves. Well, the world's going to always move. The industry is always going to move. So I feel the biggest thing that we should be looking at is the next market shift, which is the influx of millennials that we're already seeing. Now, I'm not making this an age issue. I don't think it's a old versus new, old, you know, this and that, how many years you've been in. But the, the millennial buyers expect something different. They expect a different level of service, a Text faster contracts. response time. HAR has done a phenomenal job of being there. I'm passionate about that kind of stuff. I was a beta tester for the new HAR app. I love that kind of thing. If you know anything about me, give me a project. Give me 24 hours. I'm going to come back, and I read it, researched it, Googled it. My I, house needs painting. No, you got yeah, hey, hey, for that. I just told you, I don't fix things with my hands. Rob I fix has them with my fish, mind. <laughs> So I, I, what you see with me is what you get. I'm not sugarcoated one day, happy one day, sad the next. I, uh, we don't need that. Chris type is sugarcoated though. Uh, so you know, watch well, out all the time. Saying. Y'all did tell me to work on my calves a minute ago. But, uh, <laughs> uh, hey, it was the pecking plan. You are <laughs> hey, I'm going home to do push-ups. Vanessa, did you hear that? All right, hold me accountable. Accountability is key. Um, honestly, Rob, I feel that when I was uh, not involved with the association, I had no clue what the association did. I paid my dues. I donated my minimum amount to Tree Pack back then because I didn't know any different. So there's a gap. 
there and and I think that we are charged as individuals to bridge that gap and uh, we not only build homes let's build some bridges and, uh, and and really show the members what we do what we're here for when I go into my area luncheons or go to other things I'm gonna be honored if I get to represent the board and go in there and I'd get to sit in on board member board meetings already being a part of HRIS and I know that out of the last meeting this month, they said we have almost 30,000 realtors and affiliate members. Um, right. and, and, and I want to say, a lot of people may not realize this, but I think last board election, we only had about 4,000 votes, give or take some. So you're looking at a roughly 10 percent is going to vote. Well, 90 percent maybe doesn't feel connected. It's, it's kind of like how the elections are for the uh, city and the state. You don't get, you get, don't get a lot of voter turnout because yeah. people are kind of apathetic. But, you know, what I've always found that when you get involved with this, that you become a better professional mm-hmm. and it really raises your bar and i know most people have that same goal as it, i think that's uh, david if i'm not mistaken that's uh, trademark <laughs> yeah, 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 what's it it's raising the raising bar raising the bar of expectations. expectations so uh and i think that should be everybody's goal mm-hmm. and well of course, uh, david trademarked it so we can't use it now but <laughs> well you know the <laughs> the the probably the the one of the neatest things to me about uh being around leaders and all that sort of thing, and, and uh, you you learn that when you serve, uh, when you actually have to get involved, uh, it it allows you to see through other people's eyes, and that is a perspective that only comes from doing, uh, which makes you a much richer person as an individual, and that's that's why I love, you know, I'm getting to the sappy moment here, but why I really love uh, the show and being able to hang out with this kind of people. It makes me a better person hanging out with y'all. And, and I, I can't agree. I mean that seriously. Yeah, I, actually, couldn't agree. I, I couldn't agree. My more one serious that. comment for the show, I'll, I'll yeah. shut up now. The song, <laughs> the song Against All Odds was going in my yeah. 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 It's against it, all odds. It's a it, chance it, I've got to take. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, don't give up your daytime job. Oh, okay? definitely not. <laughs> but I always uh, talk about, because before I got involved, I was kind of an independent, you know, voraciously independent, and I found out I really loved the collaborative so says his first three wives Mm -hmm. yeah yes (laughs) (laughs) i got none (laughs) (laughs) meanwhile our etiquette person has passed out in the corner (laughs) she was like okay joe we need to talk about social media and a microphone (laughs) oh my goodness oh and that's the reason i have a job where was that filter when we we, we needed that seven second delay (laughs) oh wow well, <laughs> how, do you, how do you follow that? I, I, you know, <laughs> I got, I it, you know, all I can say, Rob, is if I hadn't gotten involved in leadership, I wouldn't have been able to hang out with you and learn from you, and I wouldn't have been able to take your phone at House Supply Pies and put "I love Justin Bieber" on it while you were in the restroom. <laughs> you know, so that was yes, that was a lesson to me: never leave your phone at a table with Yet Randall Martin reason. or Katie Maxwell, either one of them. They will put things on there, and they did. They put Yet "I love Justin why he's Bieber" on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Post it on Facebook. Yes. <laughs> and people always wonder, what, you don't have to grab your phone. I say, yes, I do. Mm. So, you know, <laughs> we're, on a, we're on an open mic segment right now, by the way, if everybody wants to jump in. But, Randall, before we do so, how do we reach you? Okay, uh, everyone has a smartphone. So uh, if you're listening right now, go ahead and take it out. Press that Safari tab or that Google tab. And in the search field, just type Agent Randall, one word. That's all you got to do. Randall. You'll find me on every platform there. That awesome. is awesome. And uh, Wait, you're running an also uh, large firm large category. Also. Large okay. firm category. There's uh, nine of us running in that category, I believe. <laughs> so. Only nine. Mm-hmm. Only nine. Uh, only nine. <laughs> well, well, someone just said earlier that this is the most number of candidates we've had in an election. There's 38. 38. 38. 38 people. So wow. uh, the word's gotten out. But what's different, because we used to see a lot of the same old uh, names. Right. People have been there before or. Now it's a lot of. You well, know, see, we're, we're seeing a lot of new. I mean, if you look new around, faces. what we see right here in the room, yeah, a lot of new faces. But what's what's amazing though is a lot of these individuals are very active right now. While they might not have a seat on the board, they're extremely active in real estate. Not only in production in real estate, but also in doing things with NRG, with other committees, with other levels. I mean, it's it's. It's neat to see that. I, I, I so think what we have doing, a, yes. all TRLP graduates here, too. Or do we not? Mm-hmm. That's yep. awesome, which mm-hmm. is a Texas Real Estate Leadership Program, which is a mm-hmm. uh, about, about a nine-month commitment to go through that leadership program, and it teaches you different leadership skills and things like that. And, and uh, usually you have a legacy project of some type 
And um, you know they can't, they can't see you shake your head, Randall. Oh yeah, no, no. I, I, this is me shaking my head. This is me shaking. The, the fedora is moving up and down as we speak. Now TRLP is great. I think any leader or anyone interested in leadership should start with TRLP. Uh, it really, and even whether you're a realtor, uh, a, uh, a other person in the industry or whatnot, I, I tell people all the time. And not only did I think it improved my business, it improved my uh, ability to think. It improved my life. The way I schedule things the way I look at everything so you know kudos to that class yeah. right, definitely and, and hashtag 2012 you know, and we, and Chris and I and, and Joe all, all, we talk about it's a relationship business and going through that program is basically it, it helps you build relationships mm -hmm. and Kurt you've stayed with uh, <laughs> I, Are you asking me out, Rob? The, the, the Ray Wade. Uh, the, <laughs> I'm married. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rob, he, he's married and you don't do well with commitment. So. <laughs> what did it toss in? You know, we, we, uh, we always have fun and, and this is a silly show and all that sort of thing. But we talk about the rarefied air of the Rat Pack and that we, we always get to bring on uh, industry leaders and for the for the listening audience you know this show has been really kind of a, a lot directed at the real estate community and that sort of thing but from the listening audience I, I think it's a great opportunity if you're out there looking uh, to engage with a realtor buying selling uh, your home that type of thing uh, look at people who serve in the industry um, these guys don't get paid to do this they step up to serve in leadership and that is an exemplary behavior in any human being uh, so when you're hunting for a great professional to work with, all you got to do is look at our past shows, and uh, you, you're going to find awesome people. Yep, I would agree. Our and shameless plug for the, the guests <laughs> uh, <laughs> moment of the show. It's because we all have passion. Absolutely. Yes. You know, and that passion comes across. You know, you can see it. You can feel it. You can – sometimes what people don't realize all the time is passion is not something you're born – it's something you're born with. But it's something also that once you find what, what you like to do, it comes across. And that's, that's what you see in everybody who's here. And, you know, I've also been reminded that we have some leaders from Women's Council of Realtors here as well. Yes. So, we, of course, Christy is uh, president of the chapter up in the Montgomery. And then, Shannon, I believe you're incoming. Incoming. It'll be next year you'll be president. And, Tom, you served as president up in the Kingwood area. And so, and state leaders, too. So this is, you know, they... they they focus a lot on leadership, so it's it's we're, I, we really are blessed to have uh, some great leaders in the room. So 